And what's going on guys? This your boy the drunken sailor guys and another video today. If you haven't known so far, Joe Biden is just it just needs to go. But this story here, of course, if it haven't pitched you off already, the money, the money, the money, the money that we're spending, send to other countries, send it to our citizens and American people like me and you suffering. We're the one holding the bag while everybody else is living good and off working off our back while we print out money, send it everywhere else, while the American people and the working class and the so-called used to be middle class is suffering for all for it. And this story here from the Washington Stamina, Joe Biden has spent two hundred million at tax fund to sanctuary cities helping illegal immigrants. Illegal immigrants. Boy, they're coming on in, get cell phones, get Getting hotel rooms, getting food paid for by the good old American people. It's been a wonderful thing. Makes you want to say, hmm, am I doing something? I'm looking like a fool. I'm working a nine to five, working, paying my taxes. And these people just walk on in my country and get whatever they want. I'm in the wrong business here. Maybe I should go to Mexico, walk up to the border, say, I. Me speak no English, me want the sanctuary, come on in, get health care, get a room, get some cash, get a brand new cell phone, probably a new iPhone 14, which I, I don't have right now, get anything I want right now. I'm in the wrong business, people. I mean, we're in the wrong business, people, American people. We're doing something wrong for our government to be taking care of people that are not even citizens yet. And we're getting screwed over. We're getting killed by inflation. Price is going up. Gas about to go up. Summertime is going to come. So you already know that that electric bill is about to be hitting the summer. Gas shortage, food shortage. Crazy things are coming. Bad things are coming. But we're the ones making people going to suffer for it. And Joe Biden and his Democrat cronies are just going to laugh at us. That's why. Well, we hold the bag and look stupid. Let's just read this story here. The link will be in the description. The Biden administration will shell out $363 million to help cities, states, and non-profit groups cover the cost of feeding, shelter, and transporting illegal immigrants who should never be in this country. Should time to walk up to the border to turn the ad back around, stay in Mexico. But we just, hey, come on in, guys. Come on now, we got enough room in here, which we don't. We don't have the money to take care of American people, American citizens. But yeah, the legals, come on in. We'll give you a room. Three meals in the cot, baby. Probably better than most of us living and better eating than we're getting right now. But that's another story. Department of Homeland Security Agency, Federal Emergency Management Agency, and U.S. Customs and Border Patrol published on Monday a notice of plans to dole out more U.S. tax t taxpayers' money weeks after the war, cities and organization hundreds of millions of dollars. So more of your taxpayer, our taxpayer money, good old Joe Biden and the federal government. Way to go, Joe. So let's take care of this illegal. Screw the American people, right? Hmm. More than two hundred million. Of the three hundred sixty-three million will go to several Democratic-run cities. Not surprising, and states that will have previously vowed not to allow federal immigration officers to enforce federal laws in their cities. Otherwise, knows that sanctuary zones. Of course, New York, Chicago, all those places that said we're sanctuary cities two, three years ago, and with Texas, Florida, and all these red states. Stop busting these immigrants to their cities. Oh, no, no, no. It's too many. Stop, stop, stop. No. You say you're saturated. You're a haven for illegals. And when they do get the few hundreds that they do get with these Texas, Florida, and other states in the South, get thousands daily, they cry about that. Hmm. But the federal government's going to give them millions of dollars, though. Screw Texas and other red states down South that are getting thousands on thousands on them. A few hundred or few here and there that the northern state get they cry about it even though you're set off at the sanctuary zone the house and we take the illegal immigrants but they're getting all the funding millions of dollars 
And we know <laughs> most of that money's not going for, to them illegals. Almost as a shelter them. That's going right ten percent to the big guy, ain't it? Ain't that right, Mr. Joe? Let's read on more here. Including the latest round of funding, the federal government have now spent nearly seven hundred million dollars responding to the border crisis in just the past six months. So in the past six months, we're up to almost seven hundred million dollars to an issue that can be resolved by closing the damn border. Securing the border won't have this problem. But two and a half years of letting everybody come in, spending more of our money, your money, our money, the people that's not even should be legally here. And I don't want to hear about no silent seekers in my eye. Most of the people, most of the legals I'm seeing are all males. No family, no kids. Male, men. You see in Buffalo, men everywhere. I don't see no families. I'm not seeing women and children. I'm seeing a lot of men around here that coming in, walking in this country. Men coming here to work and coming here to work. Most most of they think most Americans are lazy. Don't want to do the hard labor jobs. And basically, the, their families will come over and they will get rid of us. Cause guys, that's the plan. I've been telling you in a few videos, they're here to replace you. They think Americans are lazy, entitled, and and they can't do no more with you. These illegals, the border's open. This is a new border base. This is the new America they want. If you don't believe me, you'll find out real soon. If you haven't found out already. The money is now intended to last 34 Beneficially through September 2025. Hmm. And like I said, they got four trillions of dollars with the debt ceiling. Thank you, Kevin McCarthy. To now, to till 2025. Hmm. They're gonna write more checks. Like I said, Chicago, the mayor of Chicago, the new Brandon Johnson, his dumbass. He gave what 51 million to the illegals up there to help them out. And the black people in the black community, of Chicago, are pissed off. Hey guys, you voted for it. You keep voting the same shit, expecting expecting different results. That what you get, and now you waking up. Well, what about us? What about you? You keep voting for us. We don't. You're not entitled us to do anything different. Well, now you keep killing each other, and the old people and everybody's dying out. The black people, see, you're being replaced with less than ten percent of the population as it is, and you keep killing. We keep killing each other, black on black crime. But you don't want us to talk about it. You want to talk about any time a white man kills or the cop. So eventually, when you're killing the youth, youth, the youth, or the youth that out here don't give a damn to vote or give a damn about nothing, there's no future. There's no generation. Single mom, got single mom homes. Most of your kids are getting the boat, uh, getting, uh, get, you're killing most of your babies. And the ones that do make it are dumb, fool, in jail, locked up, or dead. There's no future for the black community. It's basically dead. It's over with. So they, though the Democrats, they gotta keep their voting base going. Illegals from South America, Mexico, Central America, they know they bring them in. They'll have families, they have communities, they all sit together. They know, no, the men come in, they bring their families up. They have ten to a room. But eventually, they get old enough, they all vote in Democrat. So the one or two, they with their mom and stuff. And he, he might not be able to vote because he's a felon and been locked up, if not being dead. You have to start thinking, people. These guys are playing chess. Most of y'all are plowing to play checkers. And most of you can't even play checkers. I don't know the chess games and the move ahead, three steps ahead, that these Democrats and the government period are doing. Time to start waking up, people. Like I said, the situation state, the illegals coming in, they're here to replace us. If you think I'm blind, all right, that's on you. Keep your head in the sand. I've been around the government. I'm from the military. I'm still working with government now. I can tell you, they're here to replace you. Like I said, Eric, I bet the video, New York Mayor Eric Adams, he suggests, oh, maybe private citizens, maybe take in some of these illegals, help out the city, you know, help. Help us out. We're looking into it, you know. Any good citizen don't want to got an extra room or cot, you know. 
You might want to be, 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 get a pat on the back. You help us out. How some of these illegal immigrants? Hmm. As we know the government, if you know, this is what I'm going to say. Either you know history, you know your history about the government and what they're capable of doing, or you fully trust them. Can't do both. Me, understanding history and knowing my government and working for the government and knowing the history. Oh, I know. I can see the writing on the wall. Oh, first thing they'll come out and say, oh, guys, we're going to just put it out in the ether, see how people react to it. And people are okay with it. They'll start to slowly implement that, write in some bills, slide in some stuff, and slowly slide it in the law. So, eventually, when he brought that up, eh, maybe my, my faith, it's my my good faith. I want to see private citizens bring in the legals. Eventually, they'll adjust it. They'll see, hey, you got an extra room, you know. How about get some tax credits, you know, some, we'll help, or oh, we'll subdivide some of your rent. You know, you're taking this, you take in a legal hit take a legal to in your house you got extra room hey it might be good to you do that just adjust it make it look sound good look good get extra five hundred dollars a month on rent or tax credit at the end hey okay that sounds good i'm looking for a roommate but extra 500 do okay sign up for it it's, it's eyes only for temporary you know it's only gonna be temporary it's gonna be six months to a year till we get him permanent Registrants, get him legalized and get him his own place. Okay, six months to a year. Not too bad. Sounds good. Get five hundred dollars a month at for month to house him and for you for your rent or use whatever. Cool. So okay, so that year go by. And you're thinking, okay, everything's good. So when you're leaving and stuff, I'm not leaving. Yeah, yeah, your gear's up though, so so you, you when you when are you gonna leave? I'm not gonna go out. They didn't tell me we had to leave. And I ain't going nowhere. I like it here. No, 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 I know. I'm about to get married, you know. I'm 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 looking for a different different room and stuff. It's nice to help out, but it, I think it's time to go. I think I wanna bring my girlfriend in, you know, move her in and stuff. No. Okay, he's not gonna go. He don't have to go. He was the toll, he never had to leave. Okay, so you trying to evict him. Go to your landlord and the landlord in the course like you can't evict him. But yeah, he's a, he's a tenant. He's a roommate. He's not a roommate. What are you talking about? You can't evict him. You signed up to the program. Yeah, I signed up. He's saying no more than a year. Did you read the fine print? And most people don't. They don't read the fine print. And make it sound, sound good. Help out and stuff. Good as your heart. And you say, okay, I'm ready to help out. But when you're ready for him to leave, or that person leave, they don't leave. And you're stuck. And now you're stuck with him. That person that you thought was going to leave at a certain time. No, no, he don't want to. They don't want to leave. And now you can't. In a law's like you can't force him. You can't make him leave. You try anything, we're going to kick you out and evict you. And another thing about illegals, too. All they got to do is say, you touched them or you touched or sought them. That moves them up in the case to get their green card and get the citizenship. Hmm. So they can attack you. You fend yourself. He can go to court. Like, he attacked me. I was just fending myself. Now you can get locked up. You get in trouble. While he going to get citizenship, you going to jail. God bid you got kids or family or anybody else. Oh, 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 female woman in the house. God knows what might happen to that. See? Stuff like that, the government ain't good for it. We gotta understand, guys. Calling shit out like this, is sending out money, our tax payer money, to these illegal immigrants, the house, clothe them, feed them, whatever. While you and me, we're stuck, trying to keep the roof over our head, put food on the table, scraps, prices and everything going up. We ain't getting no relief, we ain't getting nothing. But I F you. There's a supply shortage, gas going up. Like I said, everything, we're getting the F you. Citizen, not, um, not the, people not even of this country, um, power never don't care about citizenship, don't care about the country, eating a little better than us. Ain't that a shame? We got disabled veterans on the streets, abandoned by the, by the government, the VA and everybody. I'd rather you tell me a house of veteran than illegal 
help out a veteran. We got extra room. I'd rather you do that. These American citizens, the illegal people that should not even be in this country. You treating them better than the actual citizens of the country. Let you know they don't give a fuck about you. So what are you going to do about it? Vote and act accordingly, guys. This your boy, the drunken sailor guy. Thank you for this video here. Like I said, they're out here loving illegals because that's a new border base. Hmm. Well, how you feel about it? You think it's right for us to help anybody come through who wants to come in this country? Or you think it's fuck that? Tell them bitches get a back of the line. I'm going to make it so that we need the help first. Stop helping and bringing these people into our country that we can't even help ourselves. But they're getting ahead of the line privilege for doing nothing. Fuck that. Fuck them and fuck the government. Let me know in the comment section, guys. It's been a good one, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Share the video, guys. Hey, right. we're in a third world country, guys. This is not a serious country no more. That's not. Got too many weak men in power. Too many cows that won't stand up and say, do the right thing. And everybody's in between. I'm going to say what I can say. Don't give a fuck who like it. <laughs> I've been silent too long. I served my country. Sit around, thought things to get better. Kept getting worse. Maybe it looks late as it is, but hey, I'm doing my part. Trying to call out the bullshit. This your boy. Y'all have a good night. I'm out. <laughs>